Michelle Glass here. Our bone for today is the humerus, which is our arm bone. Anatomically speaking, remember that the arm extends from the shoulder to the elbow, so it is just this bone. Your um, arm from your elbow to your wrist is what we refer to as the forearm, and we'll see those two bones in a later presentation. We are starting by looking here at the proximal end of the humerus, and we want to pick out the humeral head. This is the ball that fits into the ball and socket joint of the shoulder. So this articulates into that glenoid cavity um, that we named for the scapula. Next, let's pick out the two tubercles. These are these large rounded projections here. Our smaller one is called the lesser tubercle. It's on the front of the bone or the anterior surface. And our greater tubercle is on the lateral side extending to the back. In between, we have a groove called the intertubercular groove. Next, we can feel the shaft of the bone. That's this length of bone here. When you are feeling it and visually you can see, it, you get to a really rough patch. This is called the deltoid tuberosity. This rough patch in bone is where muscle attaches in. So this is where the deltoid muscle will insert into the bone. And then at the proximal end, we have our, um, excuse me, our distal end. We have our elbow end. We can see here our condyle, which is articulating with our bones of our forearm. Um, on our condyle, we have two parts. We have the trochlea and then the very rounded capitulum. We also have two what are called epicondyles. Epi prefix, remember, means above our pawn, so these are above the condyle. We have a medial epicondyle and a lateral epicondyle. Next we have two fossae, so we can see one here above the trochlea, that's called our coronoid fossa, and then above the capitulum you have the radial fossa there. Those are both on the front. On the back side, on the dorsal surface, we have a deeper fossa called the alacronon. So in positioning this, find your proximal end, Find the humoral head, which has to be medial, and the lesser tubercle, the deltoid tuberosity, the coronoid fossa, the radial fossa, all of those are on the front surface. Find your medial condyle, which is also going to be positioned medially, just like the head. And then you can identify your direction. So here we're looking at a left humerus.